What's up YouTube and welcome back to Every Tech Time. So today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to create CSS files in Notepad++, a text editor and source code editor that I sometimes use. So, um, so yeah, this is another one of my Notepad++ tutorials. Um, this time I'm going to be creating a, a basic CSS document. So, so yeah, um, as always, I'll have I'll have a link in the description to download Notepad++ so you can try it out yourself if you don't have the program yet. Uh, um, if you want to do it, if you want to try it out yourself. So, so anyway, let's get started. So first, I'm going to um, start this file off by creating a block for the the main body of an HTML document, the style. Wait, first, just for fun, I'm going to save this as a CSS file. Um, um, you can save it as a CSS file after you finish writing it, but, um, but I'm just going to do this just so that I can actually see the style of the document. So, see, so yeah, I just go to Save As and, and save it to whatever folder you want to save it in. I'm just going to call this style.css and then hit save. So there so there is quite a bit to know about about cascading style sheets. So um see so yeah, you might learn a bit. So anyway, I'm going to start by creating the body block. I'm going to add the width hundred percent now you can um, um, write this however you want but, um, but I'm just gonna leave the padding and margin at, at zero now for the background Now you can do either background or background color, but I'll do color just just because why not? You can make it whatever color you want, but I'm gonna just make it plain white. And now for the font, I'm gonna add Arial as the font, although you can add whatever font you want. And now, just for fun, I'm gonna add the line height. This is the um the um the line height is the margins that um that uh, that exist between between text in an H, in an HTML document. You um you might see what I mean if you if you highlight it and 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 see those and see the margins that extend. All right, so I just completed the body. Uh, um, this is regular text, the P element for HTML. And I had the font size at 13 pixels. And now for the link colors. All right, so th those are the link styles. So now I'm going to do um, h1, h2, h3, and h4, those HTML elements. I'm just going to add the font sizes since since I decide since I want to um, have the font as just Arial. So h1 is the um, the biggest wording in an HTML document. Now H2. A bit smaller. 
H3. And H4. You can also do H5 and H6, but but I'm just gonna have these these four elements for this for this um style sheet. And now for the UL and LI HTML elements. UL and LI go together in, in HTML dot documents. So I'm going to have the display as a block, um, or you can do inline block, whatever you want to choose. Yeah, I'll do inline block. Now li. And the font size is 13 pixels, just like the p element. And now I'm going to do the table elements. First I'm going to do um, the the main table element and now the TD element which goes with the table element padding is 5 pixels The background color is bright gray. And the font size is 13 pixels. All right, so those are my table elements. So now I'm gonna add an HR element. HR is what makes a line in, in an HTML document or web page. So I'm gonna add the border color and I'm going to make it like a shade of gray. And it's one pixel solid. There's my HR element. And now I'm on the form elements, which include field set, DT, and DD. Field set is the main, um, the main form element for HTML. Like I said before, you can make it however you want, but I'm just going to have the padding margin and border at, at zero. Now the DT element. It's going to be a bit larger at 15 pixels. And the DD element. The top margin is at 5 pixels, the left margin 25 pixels, and I'm going to add the default font size, which is 13 pixels. And now for my label element, which, which, is, which also goes with the, um, the form elements. 13 pixels. And I'm going to make the, the text bold. And it will, the text align will go on the left. And just for fun, I'll add a default cursor. Meaning, meaning when you hover over the text, it doesn't, it doesn't have this pointer that you're seeing right now. It'll just be this type of cursor that you see on the bottom. But you can make it however you want. Alright, so here's my CSS document, my style sheet. So now I'm going to save it. It's already saved as style.css, but... Therefore, I'm going to click.
click save or you can press control s on your keyboard and and there's my my style sheet okay so that's how you create a basic style sheet or css file in the notepad plus plus source code editor so if you thought this video was helpful then 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 you can like comment and subscribe for more tech videos that said this is every tech time and i'll see you in the next video